Did anyone see the E. coli outbreak linked to onions served at McDonald's? So it says right here there's 27 people hospitalized, five new people, and death. There's only one death. Um, 13 states as well, which is pretty horrible. But why are people still eating McDonald's? <laughs> Shit is so nasty, man. It is so bad for you. But I will say, I love Quarter Pounders, and this kind of broke my heart. So your fresh, slithered onions served on Quarter Pounders and other menu items from McDonald's are the likely source of this outbreak. More illnesses have been reported, but they are from before McDonald's and Taylor Farms took action to remove onions from food service locations due to this product actions taken by both companies cdc believes the risk to the public is very low so if you go to your local mcdonald's right now go get a quarter pounder could you get e coli absolutely i mean you could really get e coli anywhere but at the same time the chances of you getting it are very very slim but i thought this was so funny i guess this is like um what do you call it like okay how do you know if you have e coli so right here it says diarrhea Guys, I have diarrhea every time I eat McDonald's. <laughs> like, how do you tell, like, the difference when you're having symptoms of E. coli? <laughs> so right here, dry mouth and throat, not peeing much. That sucks. Feeling dizzy when standing up. Oh, gosh. Diarrhea for more than three days. That is not improving. Yeah, that sounds like McDonald's. <laughs> so I want to see this video on, and this is brand new. This is a day ago. So apparently more lawsuits are being linked to this McDonald's E. coli outbreak, which is interesting. So apparently, I think in this video, this girl's going to give her review. I think she's only like 16 of what she felt when she had this E. coli. So let's watch. U.S. health officials have identified more E. coli cases linked to McDonald's, but now officials are inspecting an onion grower right here in Washington. Well, as Mike Emanuel reports, this comes as a Colorado teen is hospitalized for eating a quarter pounder weeks before a deadly E. coli outbreak was ever... Bro, come on, where is this girl? Here you go. So here is her review of E. coli. I couldn't drink. I was surviving on popsicles. A 15-year-old high school freshman from Colorado says she's the latest victim of the McDonald's E. coli crisis. The teen says she ate the burgers three times in the weeks before the outbreak. Now she's hospitalized and says she's fighting off kidney. Did I hear that right? She ate the burger three times? Why, if, if, if I'm saying that or listening that correctly, why are you eating McDonald's three times? <laughs> in like a week span. <laughs> Did I hear that correctly? No, is it just me? Failure due to severe complications with E. coli poisoning. I couldn't stand up straight. My, like, cause my back was like hurting really bad. And I had like really bad cramps, cramps or like abdominal pain. The teen is one of at least 75 people sickened across 13 states. 22 of those victims were hospitalized and more could be coming. Federal health officials believe tainted onions used in quarter pounder hamburgers could be to blame. Gosh, that looks nasty. You guys see that picture? Ugh. Gosh, that looks like just SpongeBob took a poop on the patty. Ugh. To blame. On behalf of the McDonald's system, I want you to hear from me. We are sorry. On Sunday, the president of McDonald's apologized, saying they will work hard to build back trust in the company. Officials also saying its beef has tested negative for E. coli and other ingredients are safe. Quarter pounders, which were temporarily removed off the menu, will be coming back in the coming week without onions. For those customers affected, you have my commitment that led by our values, we will make this right. But when asked if they would eat the burgers again, some customers had mixed feelings. I was probably to try it. I don't think I'll eat there again. I'm not confident. I don't feel safe. This week, some of those sickened customers filed a class action lawsuit against McDonald's. Yeah, I mean, don't eat McDonald's, guys. It is so bad for you, man. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, all seriousness, I do hope that teen uh, recovers and gets healthy again because E. coli is no joke. But, yeah, yeah don't eat there. I, like I said, I did one review there on a burger. But yeah, I, I won't go back there and eat. Because in general, it just makes me feel like ass. Like after I eat it, my stomach's all heavy. My chest is all heavy. I'm in the bathroom for the next three days. There you go, a heavy cold light. But yeah, hopefully they get this stuff under control. But you got me sure as hell. People are still going to eat at McDonald's. <laughs> this is America we're talking about here. They're going to wake up the next day, 11 o'clock, and go get that quarter pounder, baby. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. See you.